Hi, my name is Marcos Murillo. My name is Brooke Murillo. And we're the owners of Top of the World up here in Sacramento. Well, COVID-19 definitely was like unexpected thing that the whole world is experiencing it. But in my opinion, my part, I feel kind of like it came in the wrong time because we just purchased tapas month before COVID-19 hit. So it's been really hard. It's changed how we had to completely uh, run the restaurant. We were completely shut down for a whole month, um, which he used, kept himself busy by painting and doing improvements in the restaurant. Um, and then we transitioned to takeout only. Which so it's been a little hard, but other than that, it's just like try to stay positive, making good food. When this hit, we applied for just about every possible financial help that we could get. We applied for the PPP and we actually were able to receive that pretty quickly because we had just received our business loan a month prior to that. Um, we applied for some of the city grants, we applied for the IDLE loan, um, and if it wasn't for those things, there is no way that we would have been able to even maintain any type of business. We had tried and uh, applied for a loan at, the, at a bank and we went through the process for probably like three months and at the end of the three months, they, they denied our loan and it was really frustrating and heartbreaking just because we had gone through what seemed like we thought we were, we were on, our, on our way and good. And then um, I was looking for help with a business plan because I thought that that would help in the next loan process. And I came across the SBDC and I'd never heard of them before. And I did a little bit more research and found that the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce was um, an affiliate of the program. So I had originally sought out the California Hispanic Chambers of Commerce um, because I thought that it would be great for her, him to find people who also who were bilingual. It's really nice that these people can speak both languages. Feels more personal. And then yes, so it's pretty. It's just attaching. It feels so. more personal. It feels like there's more. They're more invested on a personal level versus just on a business uh, yeah. aspect. And and. I think that just knowing that that it's somebody who understands his background, his culture, and so I thought I'd reach out, hoping that you know finding somebody who you know spoke his native language and kind of understood his culture and would help him feel a little bit more comfortable in the process and help him kind of understand and help me as well. So. Uh, that was how we met Oscar. So it was totally a new thing for us. Yeah. We have no idea what what you have to do to buy a business. Yes, I've been in the business for a long time, but I didn't have no idea that all the, the process that it takes to get there. And yes, we did find this great guy somewhere out there. His name is Oscar. <laughs> it is awesome. So when we initially started out with working with the SBDC um, and Oscar, he had said to us that he not only was going to help us with acquiring the, the acquisition of the restaurant, but that he would be with us along the way to make sure that we were successful. Once we, the loan went through and COVID hit and we had a whole new set of problems, um, we were able to reach out again and that was when he sent us help with you know, to apply for the PPP and truly was there to help us through something else, another challenge, and um, has remained helping us with navigating all of the, the challenges that COVID is presenting. So I know, I mean, without, without the help that we had, I, we were at the point of just wanting to give up because I didn't even know, neither of us knew where to start after that first loan was denied. So uh, working with the SBDC and the uh, California Hispanic Chambers of Commerce um, has not only helped us with acquiring the restaurant, but it's helped us make sure that we uh, are successful and that they assured us from the beginning that they were going to be here to help us make sure that we succeed. And they have, and we are still in business, and we are managing COVID with their help, um, and they continue to offer us um, help when we need it as, as our needs change.